thank you so much for joining me today today we're going to talk about something interesting as usual but hey i know they have very interesting topics if you don't know me follow me for the interesting topics so today guys we are going to talk about how to spot a fake product on jumia yes jumia i have seen so many people complaining about jumia jumia this jumia that but first of all this video is not sponsored by jumia at all but i have had so many transactions on jumia and i know that I'm, i know what i'm talking about i know what i'm talking about so one thing i can tell you is that jumia is just a platform it has many sellers it's like aliexpress it's like amazon it, it's like any other seller platform that you know of and uh, one thing about jumia is that it has a policy I, you know me, I like original products, especially when it comes to makeup. If I'm going to cough money, it had better be original. However, so I did my research and I found out that Jumia has a policy that says that all their products are original. But that is not the case. That is not the case, my friend. That's not the case. Jumia, some of the sellers actually get away with fake products, just like on AliExpress. It's like an African AliExpress, let's say, <laughs> or an African wish. So um, it does have fake products, and the reason I'm making this video is because I've made the mistake of buying fake products without knowing at an exorbitant price. You know, there's a difference when the fake is actually like cheap, and you can tell that it's a fake. But this was legit, like it was uh, costly uh, and cheaper, cheaper like, like, let's say cheaper brand. It was really expensive like really really expensive yet it turned out to be a and fake. i know that most of the time it's not phones or whatever that are mostly fake it's makeup you know this is a beauty channel this is a, a lifestyle and beauty and fashion channel so makeup yes the makeup industry is not sleeping when it comes to creating fakes especially like the ones that are sourced from asia china to be specific like they're not sleeping when it comes to making fakes and every day they're creating fakes that are duplicate to the originals so i'm here to help you in case you you want to buy a product on jumia i live very far from this nairobi very very far and even the nearest town i live in which is italy is about an hour away and i still don't find some products that i want in italy and sometimes and i've had evidence like i've ever tried shipping something from abroad and it came like after one year after one year through post office so <laughs> so uh jumia is a good option so let's just get into the video before i blabber on and waste your time let's just get into how you can spend spot a fake product on jumia especially makeup fake makeup yeah let me just put it that way this is especially true for makeup so let's just get into the video okay wait. so the first thing you need to know about jumia is that it has stores just like an express has stores or authorized distributors if it's not a store it's, it has the label authorized distributors and i believe by the time they are putting that name that way at least jumia has verified that they are authorized distributors or they are their official store so if you buy from the official store definitely it won't be a fake so i know stores like l'oreal uh, l'oreal is there i know there's an authorized distributor like for revlon i know there's an authorized distributor for like la girl and la cosmetics so at least those ones or Linton's something yeah Linton's they'll make an official store like Linton's is there so definitely those are stores that store originals and I'm talking about the Jumia in Kenya I don't know about Jumia Nigeria but I guess some of these rules do and one thing I have to remind you guys is that it's not the fault of Jumia that um, these products are fake there is a policy that like it's supposed to say that they are supposed to be original but definitely people love money and as you know in africa i don't know what's the problem with africa but shipping costs are crazy like something can come from the us and like it's a dollar in the us and it will literally arrive in africa and by the time you're paying for shipping and customs and all that like that product is now like 
15 dollars like seriously like legit so um i don't know what the issue is even 15 dollars is little a dollar product can literally go all the way to 2000 kenya shillings which is 20 dollars so and you see that value is not worth it like are you ready to pay something that is a dollar in the us you pay 20 dollars for it it's not worth it so a lot of people sell us like sneaking like these fake things basically because they're like why not yeah so that's the reason it's not really jumia's fault it's the sellers who are selling fake things and not declaring that they're fake i've seen so by the, the way um yeah next thing that um you have to do if you want to other than if you want to make sure that you you don't buy fake products or how to avoid or spot fake products is to make sure that look at the seller score now jumia has a seller score I don't work for Jumia, so I cannot tell you how the seller score is computed. I wish I knew, but from my experience, I realized that sellers with a higher seller score tend to have like original products. That's from my experience. And sellers with like a lower seller score, like the ones I bought from, they had fake products. So you can also look at the seller score. If it's high, that's a good sign that the product will be original. So I don't know, I wish somebody from Jumia would tell me how they compete their seller score. After all, they do put it there for us to see. If they put it there for us to see, it means that it has something to do with us. Or it can help you do something. So, look at the seller score. If it's high, probably the product is original. If it's low, <laughs> think twice from now, a low seller score. If you want to uh, purchase a product and you're not so sure as to whether this is an original or a fake you know by the way there are some products that i've found on jumia that are so unique like makeup and i could not have found them on any other platform in kenya so unless i go to a shop and as i said i live in the village so that's out of question so like i found some really interesting finds but if so when you find these interesting finds and you're not so sure like is this an original is this a fake and maybe you don't want the fake, maybe some people do want the fakes, but maybe you don't want the fake, or you're not willing to part with a lot of money for the fake. You can always check. Let me just confirm. I had this in my head. I had it in my head. What's wrong with your head? Maybe it's because I always film many videos in one day. But, oh yes, as I was saying, if you're not sure, definitely look at the reviews. That one is obvious for any platform, whether it's Amazon or uh, what is it called, or Do or uh, AliExpress or Wish or any shop, like even in a normal shop that's just selling like clothes only or some or electronics only. Just look at the reviews. People will always comment. I personally always comment. And when I find a fake product, I'm sorry for the seller, for the seller. but I always who I purchase from. But when I find any fake product, I always have to write a review. I always have to say, sorry guys, but this is a fake, just by knowing that it's a fake. So you can always look at the reviews. Even if they won't write that it's a fake, you see like it has a low rating. A low rated product probably means it's a fake either it's probably drying out your eyes or drying out your lips or drying out your something but most of the time a low rated product look at the reviews look at the rating yeah that's just what I'm okay so as I was saying guys you have to look at the ratings and you have to look, look at the reviews yeah so if it's like anything below three stars honestly i'd think twice about that product i personally would think twice about that product if it has three stars or two or one star i'd think twice about that product and if it doesn't have any ratings you just have to gamble or you can look at the rest of the thing a bad review a low rating is just obvious that's probably a fake product don't buy it yeah but anyway, or if you want a fake product, also maybe you've seen the price is cheap, go ahead and buy it. But I noticed that it works. Look at other products that the seller is selling. Yes. Look at the other products that the seller is selling. For example, if you know that a brand is an American brand, and when you go to the store, the seller's store on the website, 
and you notice that all the products that he has are Chinese brands and there's only this one product that is an American brand chances are super high that that is a fake or it's probably from China yeah and not from America so look at the other product that the seller is selling if the seller is selling them for example if the seller is selling uh, Chinese products and this particular item that you want is a UK product honey he didn't order one thing from the UK and order the rest from China no. most of the time the sellers who sell like products from the UK will have other products from the UK if they have products from the US they'll have other products from the US if he, he has products from Egypt that seller will have other products from Egypt and like that and like that but if they, it's just this one item that he's selling that is from the UK and the rest are from China I bet you we are doing well, think twice we are doing good, we are doing fast so the next thing that I'm going to tell you is that you should I have to research for you guys imagine I did my research so that I can make sure that you you don't lose money I've ever lost a lot of money buying a fake, fake product where the seller score is good the rating of the item is not so good it's like 3 out of 10 so you're not so sure you've looked at the product and you've seen that this person is selling similar products from a similar country and you're still skeptical you're still like ah, why does it have a three out of five star rating ah. and you're still skeptical and you're like i don't trust this seller another thing that you can do is compare the price of that product with the price on the manufacturer's website not manufacturer's website but like the brand's website for example all brands have a website like Revlon has a website, Maybelline has a website, NYX has a website and all those other things they have websites. Compare the price of this product on Junior to the price on the website. If you see that there's a huge discrepancy like it's not adding up, the shipping cost is not adding up. For example if the, for the website it's $10 you can add like $5 shipping plus $5 profit so this product should be at least $20 and this product mysteriously is about $8 which is even less than the original on the brand's website that's a red flag unless this is an official store and they have a sale if it's an official store and they have a sale that's different but if it's not an official store and they don't have a sale and this product is even less I'd be skeptical, I'd be curious and I would avoid that product unless I want a fake product as I've seen, sometimes our pockets don't allow us to buy original even me, I've bought fake clothes intentionally at some point I've purposely bought fake products because I could not afford the original product but just in case you want to buy the original product and you can afford the original product and you don't want a fake product on Jumia those are the tips you should follow always check the original price on the brand's website if it's way less than the original price on the brand's website considering shipping costs and profit avoid that product it's probably fake so let me check if there's one more and if there's none I'll see that that was all guys so to recap, I've just said that you should look at the reviews and the ratings. Look at uh, buy from an official store or an authorized distributor. There are labels there. Uh, number three, look at the seller score. If it's a high seller score, chances are high that their products are genuine. Uh, number four, make sure that you compare similar products in the store uh, and look at their country of origin. So obvious if a, if a seller is selling products from China and they have one item from the UK chances are high it was from China or not the UK number five you can always look at the that item on the brand's <coughs> original <laughs> excuse me on the brand's original website and compare the price to this website and also you can compare the specs you can also look at the packaging, look at the 
the way it looks, the colors, the shades. Uh, yeah, and you can basically have a clear picture of whether this is an original. Thank you so much, guys, thing. for watching. So I truly appreciate you wherever you are, whoever you are. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And I'll see you in my next video. I post content three times in a week. Three good times. Three. One, two, three. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I reserve the weekend for filming. So, um, I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Stay safe.